Hello everyone, today I am going to be transforming myself into the iconic Miss Esdeath from Akame Ga Kill. I'll begin by sectioning off my hair to put on the blue hair wax. I didn't know how opaque the wax was going to be, how much coverage it was going to give, so I decided to play it safe by just doing the front half of my head. That's going to be most visible when I do my cosplay videos. The brand I'm using actually says to wash your hair and then put on the product, but I didn't feel like washing my entire head for a video, and since it was just going to be the front, I decided to spray my hair with some water to dampen it. I'm using the Mofa Jang Hair Wax in Blue. You can find this product in several different colors on Amazon. The application process was very simple. I found that because I had locks, palm rolling the color into my hair was the easiest way to get it all the way throughout the entire lock and to build up color. I was pleasantly surprised with how bright the blue was, although I did notice that as my hair dried, the color seemed to diminish a little bit, but it was still beautiful and perfect for my cosplay. Although I used a lot less wax than I thought I would to cover the front part of my hair, I do believe if I wanted to get that super bright color throughout my entire hair, I'd probably have to use the entire jar, maybe a little bit more of a second one too. I primed my face with the Pearl Primer and Pore Primer from Benefit and the Mayron Barrier Spray to set my makeup. Now I am dabbing on my foundation. I use the Tarte Amazonian Clay in 47H Tan Deep Honey. And then I'm just going to take my blender and blend out the foundation. For eyebrows, I'm taking my eyebrow pencil from Sephora and dipping that into the Ebony Dip Brow Pomade from Anastasia. I then take the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel and put it on my eyebrows and allow it to dry. With the eyebrows now set in place, I take an angled brush and dip it into my foundation so I can carve out my eyebrows and give it a really nice precision and defined line. I then blend out the foundation again with my beauty blender so that I can make the entire look seem seamless. Ah yes, must caffeinate. I recorded four videos on this day. Today's eye look wasn't very dramatic, but I still wanted to give myself a little bit of something. So I decided to define my crease by taking my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and giving myself a little bit of dimension. I take my NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner in Vivid Sapphire and give myself a nice, beautiful, bold eye. For highlight, I take a Juvia's Place Concealer in 18. I blend that out, making sure that I don't cover up my eyeliner in the process. I set my highlight using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I let the powder bake for a little bit and then I blend it out. I then take the ColourPop Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer in Dark 190W and contour my face. I take a small brush to blend out my contour, making sure I'm blending up and not down. For my nose contour, I use the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. To make my contour appear more prominent, I take the Sasha Buttercup Powder and set it underneath my contour. So my camera died, but I ended up using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow in 333B as my highlight and the Tarte Lush in Party. My lashes are the So Kawaii Lashes, which are available in my Etsy shop. For lips, I use the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Trendsetter and the ColourPop Lip Gloss in Netta. Here is the finished look. I got the cosplay costume from Amazon and it is pretty bad quality. I would not buy it again and honestly I don't think I would recommend it for you guys. I got an extra large and it was still very very small so maybe if you are more petite than me this might do well for you but it didn't do well for me. My boots I also got from Amazon and I give those a 10 out of 10. So beautiful. I also would highly recommend the wax, especially if you have locks. This is a great way for me to experiment with hair color and not have to use wigs or bleach. The wax was pretty simple to get out of my hair, although it did stain my bath mat a little bit, so be mindful.
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be posting more cosplay content and I will also include all of the products I have mentioned down below in the description bar. Let me know what you guys think. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.